Okay, so this video is about routine and how important it was for me to have routine. With somebody who has 70 symptoms or around that many, you need to have a program that has the steps that you follow and the routine. So I needed to have a routine every day and I need to stick to that routine every day, right? Um, because if you don't have a routine, you're not going to stick to anything. You're just kind of willy-nilly. You're just kind of, yeah, maybe I'll go over here. Oh, I don't feel oh, that much. I'll go over here. <laughs> maybe I'll... <laughs> right? That's all you're doing. You're not accountable for nothing. Because if you're at home, right? You're at home. You got no schedule. You got no calendar. And you're just going, oh, I'll have a, maybe I'll have a tea. Yeah, maybe I'll wait five minutes. <laughs> right? Your brain is going to scan for danger constantly. And it's going to have you wrapped up in all the alarms. You're going to lose. The brain will always win because it's got to keep you alive. So you're going to get sucked into the perceived danger constantly. And you're going to be in a cycle at home in the safe zone, eating safe foods, not breaking out of your cycle, not doing exposure. But you're going to be stuck there for years and years and years. And your body is going to be declining. And you're, you're going to do what? You're going to go... <laughs> and routine is what got me out of there. Right? And sticking to the routine is very important. So what did I do? Okay, this is what I talk about. I had my post-it notes to make sure that when I forget shit, because through this process, you're going to forget all kinds of shit. Right, your your brain is trying to no 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 don't think about that no no that I know that's the key to your recovery but we got to think about this liger. This liger is important. That's not here. There's no I know there's no liger here, but I think there's going to be a liger here because all the years of programming of being in a survival state has made me assume that there's a liger here, and I really think there's a liger here. So the brain is always going to get you pulled in, especially if you're allowing it to. If you know if you're not preparing yourself for recovery, and you're leaving yourself open. For the bait. You're going to be stuck in a cycle of constantly. So how, how do we do that? Well, routine. Like I said, you get a calendar. You schedule out your week. Right? So you're doing your visuals in the morning for an hour. And then you're doing your playtime. You're raising your vibration. You're dancing. You're either crocheting or you're whatever it is. Put it in the schedule. And repeat that every fucking day. And a couple of things here and there might change because you might have to get rice on Tuesday. Oh, that makes my schedule a little bit more exciting. Right? So rice on Tuesday and Friday you got to get spaghetti noodles and you got to get a bunch of vegetables. So, you know, it makes the schedule a little bit more exciting. But routine, routine, routine. I was up at 7 in the morning. I was doing my uh, daily dare. Made my bed. Took a shower. Took the dog. Out the door. And it was usually every day I was out the door around 7.30, 8 o'clock. And throughout the day, I had my schedule I was sticking to. And it was always the same shit. But I still wrote it down because I still had... Right, I had my little post-it notes of a schedule that... Uh, things I had to do that day. And usually, I could use that same one every day. Right, but I still made one up. And check marked it off. I'll go. What else we got to do today? Well, we got we got to um, we got to dance a little bit. Okay, before we got to do our visuals to finish that. Okay, we got to go for a walk. Oh, I got to walk the dog twice, and then I got to go for my walk. Oh man, there's not enough time in the day. Can you imagine that? Holy fuck! But I got to get these things done. And then an alarm would go off. Right. Make sure you you stay on track. Sometimes, uh, not turning all alarms off is a good thing because it keeps you on track i know i i say we want to turn most of the alarms off but there's some of them that you can keep on so you take off the things that you're you know you, you finished blah, 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 you keep on going with your day and then you get home you're tired you know you feel good because you've accomplished a lot you've been sticking to the routine 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 i did this day in day out week by week month by month yes year by year and my schedule eventually changed because i could get I could start doing other things, right, that I wasn't able to do in the beginning. So my schedule started to change. 
I was in the beginning, I couldn't walk anywhere. So I, I walked just down to the end of the, the street and back. Fast forward a year, I was walking 11 kilometers. I was taking my dog for a walk, listening to music. Uh, I down, downloaded an Audible uh, book and I was, you know, reading books and I had to get up earlier. I was like, how am I going to do all these things? This is, you know, I was started listening to motivational speakers like Grant Cardone, Bob Proctor, uh, Abraham Hicks. I was tapping into my spiritual side and working that, uh, that um, good, 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 good spiritual muscle, right? And uh, I was constantly busy. I was at the, at the beach three times a week having fun, right? Or uh, thinking greater than I felt. While I had the OCD looping thoughts, I was living life and I felt like shit while I was doing all this stuff. But you know what? I was doing it because I had a routine. So I was up and out the door constantly doing things. You don't want to be stuck at home with no schedule because you're just lost at sea. Dolly. Because you'll be lost at sea, right? And you're going to be hit with every storm that comes there. You're going to be hit by every wave, right? And what we, don't, we don't want you to be stuck out there getting wet and getting hit by the waves and the tidal waves. No, no, no. We need you to have a routine so that you're doing the steps, you're doing the seven keys to recovery, the full alarm system reset, right? And you're living life according to your routine. Do a routine. Routine, routine, routine. It's huge. And then eventually you soften up a bit because, you, you know, you're recovered. You're like, ah, you know, I feel good. You know what? I'm going to take this out, take that out, and I'm going to put this in instead. I'd rather be doing this because I don't have to do certain things anymore. Because I'm recovered. I'm living life. I still will do my visuals. I will still have playtime every day. Those things I'll keep. But the other ones, you know what? I'm going to create a business. I'm going to build a business. I'm going to uh, give back. I'm going to create a program for people to... I'm going to start doing videos. I still have a routine. It's just different shit in it than, than before. Before it was... Blah, 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 blah. Now it's... Right? Different too. Still got a routine. Right? Every day I'm writing. Every day I'm writing. Every day writing. Right? And I got, I still got a couple post it notes here. Right? I'm still, right? Before I had post it notes plastered everywhere. But you, you take what you need when you need it and then you adjust accordingly. To make sure that you're on the path that you want to be on. Right? Right now I'm creating my reality that I want. And it's exciting. And I'm motivated. And I have passion for life. Right? And I have to say, routine was really is a big part of that. So make sure you got a routine. Stick to it. And get the, the calendars and the sticky notes. Right? Get the, the books. Get all that shit. Get the multicolored markers and pens. I have a blue pen. I got a red pen. And I got an orange marker because it, you know, makes things colorful. I, I color co coordinate my schedule so that it's not always, okay, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't just blend in with the background. I want things to pop. Pop. Because if something pops, you will pay attention to it. If you just leave it in the background, yeah, you will, it just becomes like the steering wheel. Right? You got to be on top of it. Routine, routine, routine. You... you Get prepared with the sticky notes, the schedules, and you stick to it.